Hi YouTube, welcome to the MA Academy C Pointers tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys the indirection or the dereferencing operator. So uh, before we get started, um, there's one thing I wanted to mention. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, please do so. Because in the previous tutorial, I have covered things that I will use in this tutorial. So if you don't know things like the address of operator, or whenever you're declaring and initializing a variable, how does it get stored in the memory and things like that. So please watch that. Other than that, I have created this website called www.maacademytutorials.com. So feel free to visit it uh, if you want. Uh, I've just uploaded a few articles to it for now being because it's relatively new. And of course, I will upload more and more tutorials to it. So this is the program with which we will be working uh, in this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm creating this variable called int num. It's of type integer and it holds the value of 2123. So whenever we declare that this variable, how does it get stored in the memory? So uh, I will quickly go over that. So in here, when we are initializing this uh, variable with 2123, int num 2123, you can see that this 2123 gets assigned a block of memory. Now this block of memory has an address. Now in here, if you want to find the address of it, you can just use the uh, ampersand in front of it and it will give you. I will show you that at the end of this tutorial. I've also shown it in the previous tutorial, so you can watch that as well. I've completely explained it in detail in the previous tutorial. So whenever you're declaring and initializing a variable, it gets uh, the value gets stored in the memory. It gives assign a cell or a block of memory depending on its size so since integer is of size 4 bytes we can see that it takes uh, it gets assigned 4 bytes and it gets assigned a memory block and this memory block will have an address next on this line in here we say int ptr is equal to num and we use the address of operator this ampersand is called the address of operator and this asterisk in here we can see that it is called the indirection or it is also called the dereferencing operator. So what does it mean? It means that this pointer is going to point to this address. This variable, the, this pointer is of type integer. Uh, so why do we need integers? Why do we need data types when we declare pointers? We need it because of things like pointer arithmetic. We use it when we are working with arrays. All that I will cover in the future tutorials. So for now being, just know that whenever we are creating a pointer it has to has a data type so in here we are pointing it to an integer so the type of it is an integer so this is how we declare variables we precede it with a pointer with a dereferencing or an indirection operator so this asterisk is the indirection or the dereferencing operator it doesn't matter you can put this uh, on the left side of the ptr you can also put it in here it doesn't matter uh, so in here, after that, I am saying this ampersand num. So what does it ampersand mean? Ampersand gives the address of this in here. So this variable 2123, it gets assigned the memory location, right? So in here, we saw that this 2123 resides inside the memory. However, this memory block has an address. So how do we know the address of it? So the address of it, uh, we find it out, we find it out, find out, sorry. We find out the address of it by using the address of operator, this ampersand. So this says that whatever is the address of it, this pointer will point to that address. So it's very important to use this address of operator. Uh, so in here, in here we can see that we are saying int ptr is equal to address of num. So this is what it means. So this pointer, whenever you are creating it, just like this variable that we created, int num is equal to 2123 it gets assigned a block of memory, right? It has an address of its own. The same thing goes in here. So this uh, int, so this in here, it takes four bytes in memory, a block of four bytes, and it has an address. Why? Because it's of type integer. This pointer in here, it is also of type integer. So this address, this pointer, it doesn't hold this value in here. This uh, pointer, it holds the address of this value. So this add pointer, that we create, uh, this will contain the address of this variable in here, which is 2123. So you can see that it is pointing to it. Now I have typed in PTR, but it will contain the address of it. So in the next uh, diagram in here, so this is how it looks like. So if I compare it, so in here we can see that this is pointing to 
this variable in here so how does it look like in here so this ptr as i said that this num integer that we created it gets assigned a block of memory and it has the address of 0x322 so for simplicity simplicity's sake i'm using the address this number 322 as the memory address however in the real world this will have a body this address was going to be kind of long and complicated but for simplicity's sake i'm using this number 322 so you can see that this ptr that we create using this uh, in here and ptr is equal to address of num so what does it mean it means take the address of this uh, variable num so in here you can see that the address of it is 322 so this ptr it holds 322 so this when we say int num is equal to 2123 this uh, memory block contains 2123 but when you are, when you are using this dereferencing operator or the indirection operator it means hold the address of so whenever you are saying hold the address of it should hold an address and we pointed uh, point this address to it by using the address of operator which is this ampersand so in here you can see that this holds 322 this 322 is in here we can see that the address of this uh, num in here but as i said in here we can see that this pointer it is occupying a block of memory right so it also gets assigned its own memory so it resides inside the memory so it means that it will of course have its own address as well so this pointer in here you can see that the address of it is 150 so it does not mean that the pointer does not have an address of itself just like this num in here it has its own address which is 322 this ptr or pointer variable also has the address of 150 however this address value this address in here in memory holds the value of 2123 and this address holds the uh, this uh, address location holds another address which is the address of this variable num now pointers and the addresses are usually uh, the size of pointers are usually the size of the integer on most operating systems but it can differ so just know that the pointer points to an address next um, in here you can see that when I'm saying that print FD so we can see that it's give me that gives me the value of 2123 so just quickly let's run it again just to make sure so in here you can see that when I'm saying int num is equal to 2123 at 2123 gets assigned to this variable num then we are creating this pointer it is pointing to the address of num next uh, in here you can see that so th this is very easy so when we say percentage d num it prints that value however when we want to retrieve the value of it we use again remember this is this am this asterisk is called the indirection or the d referencing op operator so it means that whenever you are using this uh, dereferencing operator it means show me the value that this pointer points to so in here uh, sorry not this one so in here we can see that this pointer variable points to this address of 322 and this 322 holds this value 2123 so whenever we are using this asterisk again i'm repeating this is called the dereferencing or the indirection operator so when we use this it means that give me uh, the contents of this memory location which is 2122 and just uh, let me cover a few other simple things in here so this address of operator that we are using this ampersand so let's just look at it so in here uh, when i'm using the percentage p so we use the percentage p uh, to get the address of the variable so this gives us the address and has the small format so in here num so if you want to find out the address of a memory location i recommend using percentage p so in here when we do that it gives me the address of it so let's run it so this is the address in the examples that i covered i use simple addresses like 322 150 but in reality these addresses are going to be look, look uh, are going to look complicated like these so in here uh, we can see that whenever we are using it the ampersand it gives the address of it gets the address in which this m m variable stores its value so the address in this case is 7FFEEFBFF4E8. So this is the at that address. Next, you are saying point this pointer is going to point to this address. However, one thing that I mentioned was that this pointer will have its own address, right? 0x150. So we can get the value of this pointer as well. So we can say that 
uh, in here I'm using again let me just quickly copy it so instead of saying the num I'm saying give me the address of pointer so in here I showed in this diagram that the pointer will have its own address as well so in here we can see that the address of it is 115 again if I run this so we can see that in here it has a separate address it has a separate address these are two different addresses and in here it should also have uh, its own addresses so in here you can see that this PTR this address is this one in here so it's very separate from this one this num the number has its own address so this is that address where the num resides then the PTR pointer it is uh, this is the memory location that points to this address in here so of course this pointer will have its own address just like this pointer in here has its own address so in here we can see that it has its own address however uh, if you want to find the address of this pointer there is another way of finding it so we can also very simply say something like if we do this and we remove this so if we don't use the address of operator and we use don't use the dereference operator or the indirection operator then we can get the address of this num variable as well so in here when we run it so in here you can see that this time our this address and this address is the same so it means that whenever you don't you don't use um sorry this one in here if e uh if for e8 so we can see that these two addresses are the same so in here it means that this pointer just like in this diagram i said that this pointer contains the address of this in here this point num variable right so when we don't use this uh, dereference operator or the redirection operator it gives me the contents of it just like in here i'm saying print num right so this num variable contains this 2123 and in here we can see that it has 2123 and in here we can see that the num has this value however when we are using ptr it says give me the contents of this ptr right just like it did the contents of this num which was 2123 this time it is giving me the contents of ptr so ptr we can see that holds the address of the num right so in here this is the address of num and this is the address of num it holds the address of it so it prints 322 which in this case is very long in here we can see that it gives me this address which these two are the same because this pointer holds the address of this num because of this statement in here that we are using now there's one final diagram that i have created so this is how uh, it is uh, just to make it simple uh, so whenever we are using the address of operator it gives me the uh, address of this num variable if you want to just print num it gives me the value of this variable so what is this variable holding it's holding 2123 so when we print it we get this value next we said that the pointer resides in the memory so of course it will have its own address in here we can see that 150 is the address of this pointer so this means where we are printing this on the screen it gives me 150 however uh, just like when we say num is equal to 2123 so this memory block contains 2123 so the same when we say uh, print the contents of the ptr variable the ptr holds the address 322 which is the address of this num in here so it prints 322 next if we want to find what is it pointing to then we use the percentage or uh, sorry not the percentage we use the asterisk in here which is the dereferencing or the indirection operator so it means uh, don't show me the value of it show me what it is pointing to so if this was pointing to this memory address in here and this memory address contains 2123 so in here we can see that it prints 2123 so i hope it makes sense uh, however if it doesn't if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations please feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you have this, this tutorial doesn't make sense please also watch my previous tutorial and that i have explained these things in depth so this is it for this one guys if you have any questions again please feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one